Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Microsoft Planner and Microsoft To Do, two of Microsoft's most powerful task management tools, and I'll compare their features, pricing, user experience, integrations, and more. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which platform makes sense for your workflow. First off, let's talk about what each tool is actually designed to do. Microsoft To Do is a personal task management app that helps individuals plan their days and stay on top of priorities. It is simple, clean, and geared toward keeping you organized across your personal and professional life. You can create lists, set reminders, and sync tasks across devices. On the other hand, Microsoft Planner is built better for teams. It provides a collaborative task board where team members can assign tasks, track progress, and manage work visually using buckets and progress charts. While To Do focuses on the individual, Planner is designed for group project coordination. Now let's talk about features. Microsoft To Do is great for managing your personal tasks. You can make different lists, set due dates, add files, and even connect it to Outlook tasks. The My Day feature helps you focus by letting you pick what to tackle on each individual day. It's simple and it works well if you're working on your own. Meanwhile, Microsoft Planner is built for teams. It has task boards, priority labels, checklists, and tools to track progress. You can add attachments and comments too. Now, since it works directly with Microsoft Teams, you can assign tasks and discuss them without switching apps. If your team needs to organize tasks across different projects, Planner is probably the best choice. Now let's talk about user experience. Both tools have a Microsoft style interface that is clean, quick, and simple to navigate. To Do is super easy to use, and if you've ever used a to-do list app before, it will feel very familiar. On the other hand, Planner takes a bit more effort to set up and manage, especially if you're juggling multiple plans and team members. But it's worth it if you're looking for visual tools to manage projects and keep everyone accountable. Planner even has schedule and chart views, which To Do doesn't offer. When it comes to integrations, both tools work well within the Microsoft ecosystem. To Do connects easily with Outlook. It lets you sync flagged emails or schedule tasks without any hassle. However, Planner goes a bit further. It works with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint, Power Automate, and even Viva Goals. You can set up automated flows or create reports across different platforms. Now this makes it a better option for businesses that need more flexibility. Now let's break down the pricing. Microsoft To Do is completely free and included with all Microsoft accounts. Microsoft Planner is also included with Microsoft 365 business plans, but for advanced project features, you'll need to move up to premium options. Planner Plan 1 is priced at $10 per user per month. Plan 3 costs $30, and Plan 5 goes up to $55 per user per month, all billed annually. So which one should you choose? If you're managing your own personal tasks or looking for a lightweight solution, Microsoft To Do is perfect. But if you're collaborating with a team or handling project workflows, Microsoft Planner offers the features and visibility that you'll definitely need. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.